Hey besties, so this video that I'm doing was somewhat of a requested video for a Crayola theme um, Capri Sun label. So I am going to do a little bit of a Crayola series and this is what I decided to start off with. Now the box came from Esty and it's super cool because you can basically change the colors and you don't have to even really go with a Crayola theme. It can just be a favor box for something else. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. I normally work with a, I show you the finished product and then I work on another one, but this file is so large that I can't put it in the same project because it literally will just take um, forever to load everything on there. So I'm going to show you exactly what I got in the file and then I'll take you through printing and, and as assembly. Okay, for the crayon box, you're going to start with making the color changes. So obviously we're gonna start with the biggest thing, which is the box as a whole. So I'm clicking on my control panel here. I'm gonna change it to a print, and then I'm gonna change it to yellow, okay? All these side pieces here, I'm gonna change to um, green and dark green. So this bottom one will be the darkest green and select everything and then flatten. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do is choose a shape, a square. So you're going to take your box and you're going to place it over your um, opening. And then you're going to move this to the front. So now you'll see this gray um, box here and you can go here to your control panel and change it to white. So the next thing I'll do is upload my crayon into my project here. And then all you have to do is take and change the color. Now, because this is really not gonna show, all you have to do is go down here and delete. So I'm not going to do every single one, but you'll basically have to do seven crayons that will you'll line up next to each other. And then you'll take and you'll move your box to the front. Okay. So now that I showed you that part, I'm going to go back to my project, but I just wanted to show you the font file that you get from Etsy when you purchase the Crayola pack. You want to download or upload this into your project first. You wanna take out everything you're gonna use and delete everything else. Because if you do this last, design space is like, bruh, what are you doing? And it just is a hot mess. So it's better if you just do it first and get it out of the way because this file is so large that once you upload it, it just takes up pretty much your whole project and you're moving things around you're doing all kind of stuff just to being just to be able to maneuver around this so a word from the wise just go ahead get this out of the way first group your name together group your number whatever else you're going to use and then move it out of the way even hide it if you want to and then go back and do whatever else you want to do so here i and back on my project and you'll see my box here I went ahead and did all the measurements for you for the score lines because when you start doing this it's like another chaotic event <laughs> so I went ahead and did the lines for you I'll do a still shot of this so 
So this is the mock-up that I did. And obviously, you guys can be much more fabulous with your designing. I was just trying to do this pretty quickly, but you'll see you'll have your seven crayons across. And you can do, you know, crayons in the back if you want to, or just, you know, color blocks in the back, just so it looks like a 24 box of crayons. Thought I'd include a picture of the birthday person. And, you know, this is the same barcode that I had been using for my chip bags. I just made it green. I added a little M&M label here to the side because that is actually what I'm going to put inside the box. And I know some children have like peanut allergies, like my niece does not like uh, chocolate. So it's better, I felt, to uh, for people to know what they're having because that way they won't waste it. They won't get you know, get home or you won't have people trying to open up boxes and see what's inside, you know, they'll know they're getting M&Ms and they, you know, they won't waste it. They won't have something that they can't eat. So uh, I tend to try and keep the labels attached to stuff or the labels showing or just to show what's inside so that people don't waste or they don't have to rummage through stuff to, to figure out what it is. The logo, I just typed in Google, Crayola logo, and I use this one right here. Uh, so that's where I got that from. Otherwise, you know, it's just pretty simple cut and dry. So one thing to note about the dimensions is that you want it to be nine inches by 6.75. And you will click this right here and that will allow you to change them separately. If you keep it the same, it'll keep on changing the measurements to fit what it thinks that it should be. So just make sure your dimensions are nine by 6.75. And of course, I will put that down below in the description box as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and group everything back together and then I will get this printed and cut. So I'm gonna move this to the back. One thing for you to check for is just to make sure this says print score cut, okay? And then we'll go ahead and click continue. So I'm gonna click send to printer. Then I will go to advanced options. I'm gonna leave on the bleed. Okay, so now that your box is popped up, you wanna go here to preferences. You also wanna make sure that it shows your um, printer here, okay? So I'm gonna go to preferences and then I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna print on cardstock and I'm gonna make sure that my quality is high. And then I'm gonna click okay and print. Okay, so this is the one that I printed with just regular paper. And as you can see, it's still sturdy. It stands up fine. It folds fine. It, it does everything perfectly fine. So you can definitely print these with regular copy paper. It'll save you a lot of money um, because copy paper is cheap and cardstock is not expensive, but it is you know, more expensive, more expensive than regular copy paper. So you'll see everything that it did as far as scoring the paper, as far as the cuts that it made. And the reason why you need this white backing here is because if you don't put that there, it will cut out those pieces. Which, if you want it like that, totally fine. So, if you could see, my paper was a little bit moved over to the side. It did cut a small hole right here by my purple. So, 
but it's fine, not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this now and show you guys what this looks like. So And this is also a really good idea for teachers. I had a meeting today at my daughter's school for their um, kindergarten graduation. And she was saying that she wants to get some of these done for the new year for her new class. So these are also a really good idea for teachers. They don't just have to be for parties. And you don't just have to do uh, Crayola. You can do really any any theme with these. So let me go ahead and attach this. Okay, so it'll be like that. And then you have your two flaps here. You just press those in and then fold this inside. If you want it to stay, I did put a piece of tape there That way you can make sure it doesn't bottom out. So that'll look like that. And then you have it sitting up like this. Okay. Now, I put m and m on the side. You can use these little individual packs that you get from the 99 cent store. You can use other stuff in there. A little, you know, if it's a little girl's party, you can use a little chap, put a little chapstick in there. You can put just tons of things. So I'm gonna fold that down and I'm also gonna fold this over and fold it inside the box. So here are the two boxes that are printed side by side. This one here on the left is actually the one that I did with regular copy paper. And this one here on the right is the one that I did with cardstock. The only difference, obviously you can tell that's a bit more flimsy and this one is a bit more sturdy. This one also got into the hands of a six year old that thinks anything that has her name on it is hers. So I had to go ahead and get this back from her. But, you know, it survived and it only has a few scars. Otherwise, you know, it's it looks relatively uh, close to the one in cardstock. So, would I say save a little bit of money and print it on copy paper? Absolutely. Because these are ultimately going to go in the trash. And, you know, there's no real sense of... Um, you know, there's, there's just not a huge difference there. They're going to sit up there and be cute and, you know, and then people are going to take them home. So, I mean, unless you were putting a good amount of, um, items in there. Otherwise, you know, uh, copy paper is just fine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always... I'll see you guys on the next video.